Daniel and Tim, this is Joel. Sure good to see you again here, buddy. Again, hope you can play in these tournaments the next couple of weeks. So to see the swing in so many ways looks pretty good. Like we're seeing there, Daniel, but you've seen your setup. You're lined up well to the right. On our left is that orange flag. On the right is that red flag. And your valley is right on the other side of your hands there out in the distance. And you see you're lined up quite a bit to the right as you get set up. Now through impact, your hands and arms look quite good. Yeah. So that's good to see there, Daniel. And then with the driver, we saw the same good stuff going on. So that's pretty sweet there, Daniel. And down the line, again, you saw that same alignment well to the right. And then the ball is going pretty straight. But I would just like to see you get set up more where you're squared up so that that good swing can continue to work for you all the better. Because even see when you got squared up on the new blue, Daniel, the swing continued to look pretty good on the video. And once you got used to it, the ball flights indeed started coming around also, as well as with this driver, instead of being lined up so far to the right with that driver. Yes, that looks good. I like that a lot there, buddy. Compared to this. So I like that a lot there on the new blue. And I wouldn't, again, worry about the length of the swing yet over the next couple weeks. I don't want you to worry about the length of the swing because, again, you're hitting some pretty good shots, a lot of good shots, and starting to have some pretty good scores here. Daniel, now that hand's feeling better. So in these tournaments next few weeks, keep your alignment straight and keep enjoying the good full swing feel there with the sweet spot and everything, Daniel. And uh, we may work on the length of that swing there after these tournaments are over here in August. So thanks so much, buddy. Great, great work, Daniel. Keep up the good work. See you soon. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around metal length. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have a face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 1 20th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, when I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PutterZ.com. So when you hit your full shots, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn the certain fields in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. Then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or... If we get pretty satisfied that things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air, and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each screen. And again, the covered area here is heated, 
So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight, and then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want, and we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golf psych dot com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Metal Links or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsuds.com. Take care.